Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Tips and Tricks where today I will be telling you how to avoid those dreaded queues at Disneyland Paris. So first things first, obviously the time of year that you go to Disneyland Paris is going to have a huge effect on those queues. If you are travelling at peak times such as summer holidays, Christmas holidays in particular, then you are going to hit those lines. So if you're able to, try and avoid those times of year. Maybe go half term, they're slightly less busy. And of course, if your children aren't in school yet, then go during times when the rest of the countries are in school term. This will automatically put you into the park when it's so much quieter and you will have less of those queues to have to deal with. Now, if you're staying on site at one of the Disneyland Paris hotels, then that means you're gonna get extra magic hours. Do not waste these. These are a perfect opportunity for you to get into the park before anyone else is there. So great opportunities to have photos taken with the castle when it's not crowded with lots of other people. But also you have access to Fantasyland where you have access to a few of the rides, not all of them, but you have access to a few. So rides such as Dumbo, which builds such a big queue during the day, you can literally just get on really quickly at the beginning of the day. Teacups is another one. Get on them, go on them before the park's opened, and then you don't need to worry about them for the rest of the day. Now you do need to plan your day a little bit. The way I'd suggest doing this is looking at the bigger rides and seeing which ones are going to attract those bigger queues. Then decide to put these as your fast pass rides. What you need to do is you need to get to one of those rides as quickly as you can at the start of the day, get yourself a fast pass, and it will probably be for in about half an hour to an hour's time. Then you can go on the ride at this time with no queue. Once you've used your fast pass, you're then entitled to go get another for another ride. And is this process throughout the day where you can go on the bigger rides, um, Buzz Lightyear, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, Ratatouille, they are all fast pass rides. There is no need to queue. Get the fast pass for them, otherwise you're just wasting time. Now, if you're going to Disneyland Paris for more than one or two days, I'd really recommend that you use the parade time as a perfect opportunity to go on as many rides as you can. At these points in the day, the park gets considerably quieter simply because everyone is gathered around Main Street and the trail that the parade goes along and they're not at the rides. So take this opportunity, go on the rides while it's quieter. On a similar note to this, another good time of the day to go on rides is around dinner time. So if you plan your dinner to either be slightly earlier or slightly later than the usual six, seven o'clock, then you can go on the rides again whilst the park is slightly less busy. Now this might sound a little odd, but go to Disneyland Paris on a rainy day. Don't get put off by the rain. Whack on a raincoat, whack on a poncho and go in. The quietest day I've ever been to Disneyland Paris in my life was the day that it was raining. We just got onto everything straight away. It wasn't cold, so it was absolutely fine, yet the park was deserted. So go when it's raining, just be prepared for all types of weather, and I guarantee you will make the most of your trip. Avoid midday at all costs. I cannot stress this enough. Whatever it is you do, whether it's that you go shopping, you go into the Disney Village, you go shopping on Main Street, or you know, you go back to your hotel for a swim. Sounds all great to me, just try and avoid the park at midday. If you are not one for the love of crowds, then just don't bother, because that is the busiest time of the day. So go early, have a break in the middle of the day, and come back in the evening when it's got quieter. If characters are your thing, but you don't want to have to queue for them for ages, a couple of tips for you. Check out at Town Hall what time the characters are arriving at. Then you'll know exactly where the characters are going to be and where. This will then enable you to start queuing for them before they have arrived. If you are able to do this, you will be straight at the front of the queue. The second a character arrives, it's like a magnet and tourists, they just flock and that queue goes from one to 30 in a matter of seconds. So if you know that a character is going to be arriving at a spot, just wait there, hang about, and then you will get first in line. We had this with King Louis, um, and we just saw, we were, we were lucky, we just saw him walking across Adventureland. So we just followed him, and we saw him within about two minutes. It was amazing. And then as we were leaving, after having our photo taken, there was already a big, big queue. So Town Hall, check out when and where those characters are gonna be. It also enables you to make sure you're gonna see your favorite characters that you're desperate to see. Now, I've already mentioned the parades and how it's a good time to go check out the rides. But if you're thinking, I want to see the parade, but I do not want to wait hours for that perfect spot, well, 
In my opinion, I think I found a pretty good last minute spot. If you want a relatively good view uh, where you can see the floats pretty well, then I would recommend going to where Casey's Corner is. Here, they have um, the character meet, they have a character meet spot. I don't know what it is at the moment, but in the past it's been uh, Winnie the Pooh, Rapunzel and Merida. So hopefully you know where I'm describing, but you've got Casey's Corner here, and then you've got kind of railings just here, and then the parade comes around. So people tend to gather right against the road. I found if you go kind of more towards where that character meet area is, you don't have anyone immediately in front of you, which then means you can still see the parade really, really well. And we just rocked up literally three minutes before the parade started, got perfect spot, was able to see everything really well. Obviously, you're not in the front row, so you're not getting that interaction with the characters that are walking along. But you know, if you've seen the parade already and you just kind of want to enjoy the music, enjoy seeing the floats again, then I recommend that spot at Casey's Corner. It's a really, really good one to go to. And no queue, so bonus. And we've also got to mention the good old staple, It's a Small World. There's never a queue for this ride. No matter how many people are on it, there is never a queue. It might look like there's a queue, but oh, it just moves and moves and moves. I, I think it's just because they have those massive boats and they can just get hundreds on and you just go, and there's no queue. And it's quite a long ride as well. So, you know, if you can put up with the tune, which, you know, you're at Disney, so gotta love it. Small world after all. And let's face it, you're at Disney. Small world's gotta happen. So yeah, if you're wanting to go on a ride and everything's queued up, just go on the small world, it's great. Now, no matter how many tips I give you, you're going to encounter queues. So, you know, do your best, plan around it, but all I can say is if you can't beat them, join them. Make sure you've got snacks so you don't get hungry, you've got some good games up your sleeve, I don't know, favourite Disney character, favourite ride, uh, do the alphabet, can you name uh, Disney characters A to Z going round within your party, um, all these little games just to keep people occupied, and then of course just go with good company. The, some of the best moments from my trips to Disney have actually been waiting in the queues and just chatting with my friends and getting to know them even more and making some really magical memories. So as ever, I hope that was helpful. If you have any more tips for me on how I can skip those lines and queues, please get in touch. I'm always looking for new tips. Um, yeah, and please comment, like, subscribe, and feel free to ask any questions. Um, your support really does mean the world. So until next time, See you later. It's a small world after all. It's